For me, it was a very important decision to work uh, in Georgia, in the Georgian State Silk Museum. This museum is one of the oldest silk museums in the world. This museum it has a very important collection. And it has held that collection in very difficult circumstances. Over a very long period of time. I am part of a three-way collaboration with a physicist, a writer, and myself, a visual artist. It's a collaboration of ideas. We don't, we've never made things together. We talk. The physicist, uh, Dr. Peter Domachuk, worked on developing an implantable microchip made of fibrion, which is part of silk, and that was uh, the intention of that project was to develop something that could enable blood properties to be read in real time while the blood was still within the body. <laughs> Um, I, I came, I met Peter when I was developing an installation about my father's death and part of that process was, was about the, um, the huge number of uh, both donations and sampling of blood that he experienced in hospital. Uh, 
and once you start to think about blood and silk coming together, it's very uh, interesting. It's, a, it's weird, but it's also very interesting and will lead you in lots of different ways. One of the most obvious ways is when you look at the money or the trade and you start to look at the old silk trading routes and they're overlaid with the newer trading routes in bioproducts, including blood, organs and body people and other body bits. So in this particular room of the exhibition, what I've tried to do is to examine uh, the silk trading route overlaid with the blood trading route, which goes, you know, they all, it's not like from A to B, it's from, you know, and also to use these huge um, sheets of silk paper which which is which I make in my background. To give you that um, that experience of silk, but also to create a private space that you can inhabit when you uh, are between the silk and the work. It is just you and the work, and the silk is um, enveloping you or trying to uh, engage with you. It's not, um, the silk moves as you walk through it. It's not uh, something that's static. It's trying to both come to you and move away. <laughs> And if you get to hear my, my conclusion, which I derived from what I heard. So, yes, and, uh, of course, uh, identify the blood group, right? Mm -hmm. What group of blood group? Uh, blood group. And then also observe some of the changes as you go in your body, mm -hmm. your blood circulation. Yes, and the technique. And then we have the distance between the 
cost of the implant, the implant cost, and the reading device will grow. Yeah. Well, it's like yeah. now we have x-rays are red miles away. But I think it's like a unit space so there is uh, uh, something for us to be cautious. Absolutely. And the